These settlers in the Genesee country used bowls, plates, and storage jars made from the local red clay. The clay was plentiful, but the pottery called redware was fragile. It also turned out to be unsuitable for some food storage. In the days before refrigeration, many foods were preserved by pickling in vinegar, but redware's lead glaze could leach out in the acidic solution and contaminate the food. Once the Erie Canal opened, however, local potters had a better alternative. Gray-bodied stoneware clay from New Jersey and Long Island. When fired, stoneware was sturdier and better suited for storing vinegar, pickled foods, and other acids. Stoneware potters produced crocks, jugs, and jars by the thousands, eventually driving redware potters out of business. One enterprising stoneware potter named Nathan Clark opened factories in Lyons, Mount Morris, and Rochester. Clark operated several canal boats that brought raw clay from downstate and sold the finished goods to townsfolk along the Erie. The age of stoneware lasted only until the end of the 19th century. By then, glass canning jars and refrigeration had replaced pottery in most American households. During your visit, look for a mixture of redware, stoneware, and glass containers in many kitchens.